Hey everybody, it's Bob from TNT Customs. Um, we're here live in the shop today. We're making some appetizers. Just kind of warming up for our Scottle contest down in uh, Overland Expo here in a couple of weeks. So, Jerry, if you're tuned in or watching, better roll up your sleeves, brother. So, um, this is uh, kind of our first. Now well, we've done some live videos in the past, but um, yeah, sorry. We're we're operational shops, so you're going to hear some noise in the background. The guys are working, trying to get some juice out. Um, but anyway, this is not our first live, but hopefully this is a live that we do on a regular basis. We're going to call it TNT Tuesday. Um, if things go according to plan, it should be lunchtime. I will be cooking. We were going to cook a fairly elaborate lunch, uh, but the weather didn't cooperate with us today. We have about four or five inches of snow overnight. Now we have freezing fog. And truth be told, I didn't want to be outside cooking. So we're improvising, we're in the shop. And I need to tune up this recipe anyway for our scottle cook-off so the guys are going to help sample this tell me if i got it right i need to add a little more a little less so basically what we're doing is a bacon wrap shrimp um, we started with uh, the jumbo sized prongs wrap them in a thick cut bacon and I have a bourbon maple glaze to put on them here as soon as we get a little more done on the bacon. Um, and once I get that far, we'll go wander around the shop and introduce you to the guys that are here today. Um, show you some of the projects we're working on. I do believe Mary is standing by over at the manufacturing facility. So as I get a little closer, we'll cut over to her. She can kind of give you a quick tour purpose is today's video is just kind of give you a tour of our facilities, introduce you to our staff, um, talk a little bit about who we are, what we do um, here at TNT. Uh, at TNT we wear multiple hats, sometimes aprons. Um, our primary hat is TNT Customs. We manufacture a whole line of Jeep accessories and products to help you Master your terrain, that's our little catchphrase. Um, that can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. Um, but our core goal has always been and always will be, we don't build something that doesn't drive right. Whether that's to work, to the grocery store, taking the kids to ballet, soccer, or packing up on the weekends and going camping, wheeling, exploring, whatever wheeling is to you. Um, our Jeep will drive you there and drive you home again. And you get to play all day, or all weekend, all week. Um, there again, whatever that, that is to you. Um, you know, so all of our products are thoroughly tested. Um, on various vehicles before we really release them to the public. Um, we'll talk more about that when we get out in the shop. We've got a couple of um, prototypes, if you will, pre-production um, units that we're working on. Uh, those will get tested by our good customers and friends. Um, before we release that to you. So, so these are finishing up. We'll serve them up here. We'll go take them around. If Mary is there, uh, Mary, I feel cooking bacon, but you know, not just bacon. You know, we got to tune it up a little bit here at TNT. That's kind of what we do. We're doing a bacon wrapped shrimp and a bourbon maple glaze. Um, although your bacon looked good this morning, eh, I think I'm going to 
think I'm going to one up you a little bit. <laughs> so, with with that being said, we'll turn it over to Mary. She can kind of do the quick walk through over at team over at manufacturing. We have two facilities, so go ahead, Mary, if you're there. Not yet. Okay, bear with us. We're uh, trying to get this two location thing figured out. So. Mm. Think of that, Phil. Mason, my uh, lovely assistant here behind the scenes, is working her magic with her camera, <laughs> and I'm trying not to burn the trim. <laughs> Break to watch All right. Ready. Yep. Go ahead. Well, we'll be back in five or ten after Mary's done, and we'll see what these shrimp taste like. Let's go find Mary. maybe you can spin around and give them a quick, yeah. just a quick flip. We'll be back to tour this again on another day. Um, so we have a full fab shop. We can do about anything. Um, full roll cages, custom suspension, in addition to our normal stuff. Let's call it in the shop. So this is our Jeep shop. Um, we have two bays, two lifts. Um, we do our major work. Um, as I said on the previously when I was cooking, we do uh, some prototype R&D work. Both of these are uh, 
on the R&D side of things. So on this JK, that's our new seven inch rear stretch. Um, it's an equal length three link. Um, our Y link up front, Craig's setting up the bump stops right now. Got a Curry Dana 60s in both ends, the Rock Jocks, uh, one ton outers. We'll come back, we'll tour that a little better. This is a TJ where already had our long arm on it. We're finishing up the coilover conversion on it. Uh, trying a, a new lower control arm mount that has an incorporated bump stop target in it. Uh, pretty slick little piece, makes everybody's life at home a lot easier. We'll come over here and let the, let the rest of the shop have something. <clears throat> um, this Jeep we built over the winter. It's done. Uh, customers leaving it with us for a little while. So we can tune up a couple of things on it, change a few little things that he wants done. Um, we'll talk more about that one in a minute. Huh? Try it. Thanks, sir. Appreciate yeah, it. Most of them have two feet up, so don't be fooled when you pull the first one out. You might get a surprise. Thank you. Um, this is Tom. Sorry. We get sidetracked. He's our service writer um, here at the in the automotive shop. He also can answer some of your Jeep questions. This is Dylan, one of our auto mechanics. Fixes about everything and anything that comes in the door. Sliding under this truck is Tom. Say hi, Tom. Hello. Uh, hi. Thank you. So, you know, we have a full automotive facility. We can. Uh, Chuck is our other service rider on the deep side of the house, off-road side. So he's chasing parts to one of the mechanics, but we'll get back to chatting with him in a minute. Mm -hmm. It's a little quieter in here, so we can talk a little. So this is our showroom service area. Uh, Chuck's normally back behind the counter there, so is Tom. Um, so if somebody's here to greet you when you come in, you know, that's this side of the house in a nutshell. We will uh, talk more in depth as the weeks go on and we can actually get, this is just kind of an introductory, hi, you know, this is who we are, where we are, what we do. Um, anybody got any specific questions? If there is, Mason will translate for me. I don't have my phone, and if I did, I couldn't see it because no. oh, I, I do have my do have my glasses. <laughs> um, I'd take you in, and show you my office, but you probably don't want to see that because it's a mess. Not that it matters. I'm usually out on the floor anyway. Oop. So let's do a quick rundown on this one. JK fans out there that are patiently waiting for this to proceed. Um, the front front, obviously, our tried and true Guardian bumper, best approach angle on the market. Um, holds a variety of worn winches. Um, something we did different on this one, um, I've been experimenting with this system on my Jeep for several years. Um, now we're perfecting it so we can take it to production. 
it's a, a long track bar system for your front. So it extends, normally your bolt, the factory bolt goes through about two and a quarter inches further inboard. We kick the track bar bracket outboard. We kick the axle mount track bar end out about four inches. So it gives you a six inch overall length increase in your track bar. What that does, if you, I don't know if Mason can see it or not, but at full droop, the axle is still almost centered under the vehicle. It's not kicked way out to the driver. Mm -hmm. So that helps with the articulation. It definitely helps with on-road drivability. Um, it just makes the front end work better. So this will be a production kit here in the next month or so. It will come with new brackets for uh, axle, both sides, coil buckets, which have an extendable, if I guess that would be the word, extendable coil mount. Um, so you can go from stock axle position or you can stretch the front end uh, up to an inch. If we found any more than an inch on these is a problem. Um, there are some solutions for those wanting to go a little farther, but it's not for the faint of heart. Steering box has to move. There's a whole bunch of stuff that has to move. So up to about an inch, uh, you can accommodate a little stretch in your front end. And that comes into play when you're running 40 inch rubber plus, because there's nothing you can cut, you're into the firewall. So the front end has to come forward. Um, we come around back, that's where a lot of changes happen. So we're doing a, a replacement frame, lower control arm mount, um, moves forward about six inches, bolt center. Um, it's tucked up as tight as I can get it to the bottom of the chassis. I mean, the lift arm's in the way, it's hard to see at this point, but it, the gas tank is still lower than the lower control arm mount, so it's not really gonna hurt you in the rocks. Um, all new axle bracketry, lower control arm mounts with incorporated lower shock mounts. Uh, there again, we have adjustable coil buckets so you can place the coil perfectly in alignment. Where the real magic happens is on the chassis. We strip every factory bracket out of the chassis. We give you new upper coil buckets so that you don't have the long lower coil mount like some do. All that does is increase your spring rate by mo just moving the lower. It's the lazy way, it's the easy way. Um, we tend to do things the hard way, but in the end result gives you the best result. So new lowers, new uppers. Again, we kick the track bar bracket outside the frame the driver's side lower control arm mount also has an incorporated track bar mount in it, making this rear track bar right at six inches longer than stock as well. This is really where the magic happens. That, in, that decreases your roll center. It really makes a JK drive right. And if you don't believe me, go look at a new JL, because that's what's under a JL. Longer track bar than your JK, higher mounting than your JK. Um, we've been doing this for years. Can't say that the factory copied me. They got pretty smart engineers over there. They figured it out too, but we've been doing this for years. Um, these brackets have been freshly re-gone and revisited. They are now available or will be available as soon as we get them on the website. Um, this whole system, it, it will vastly improve how your JK operates. Um, it keeps the kit. We can pull it off with a high pinion diff. Uh, so the Rock Jock 60s out. We designed this system to work with a high pinion diff because in a two-door 
uh, drive shaft is an issue. So it's a seven inch stretch. Uh, we have complementary corners and sliders that fit. You can buy the whole thing as a system. You can buy it a la carte. Um, you know, you just gotta call and talk to Tanner or Mary, kinda let them know what you're doing and they can steer you in the right direction. We will have it on the website as a full kit. However, we're also building a builder's tab or a fab tab, whatever you want to, we haven't decided what the name is yet, on the website where you can buy brackets and tabs and gizmos that for the guys that want to do it themselves at home. But if you want a fully designed kit that all works together, here it is. Seven inches still works with our Guardian bumper. Um, this is a big one to you, California, Colorado, wherever you have emissions. Um, none of the factory gas tank plumbing changes. We do switch you over to a YJ bezel to make room for the wheel well, but none of that system is interrupted. So your local emissions guy should not give you any trouble if that's a concern for you. Um, keep the EVAP canister, we relocate that, tuck it up out of the way, it's no longer underneath to get smashed on anything. It's tucked up in the chassis where it should have been when it left Michigan. Um, and we're able to do that because we stretch the wheelbase. So, you know, Mason can peek underneath. We also have a, a new skid plate for this system. It is longer than our normal one, so it completely encapsulates the belly of the Jeep. It goes from control arm mount to training mount. Um, has room for a four-speed Atlas if that is in your future, and the Atlas will still be protected by the skid plate, all aluminum skid plates as they've always been. Um, so it's kind of it on this Jeep. So. It, uh, we'll have it back on the floor tomorrow. Uh, I got a few things we got to send a powder coat over with Mary. Then we can do final assembly, final brake bleed, clutch bleed. It has a center force clutch kit in it. This one is a manual. Um, so we got to, you know, do all the mechanicals. So that's where we're up next on this one. If all goes well, by the end of the week we'll be driving this one around and start fine-tuning everything. Um, so I guess I'm just rambling at this point. Um, we still didn't get the connection. To, okay, so apologize. We will figure this to location re Larry, Mary's live on remote thing. <laughs> we'll try it again, see if we can get that to work right so you guys can see the shop over there. Maybe next week for Team T Tuesday, we'll work over there. Um, and try to remote back to this facility. We'll get it figured. It's uh, you know we build jeeps. We don't really do computer stuff. So um, one last plug while I got you on the phone. You obviously saw me in my apron. Um, so that's one of my other hats. You know jeeps are my passion. Jeeps are our forte. Uh, we get jeeps from all over the country. Um, but we started last year with four exploring that's a, a new division if you will a new company um, it's still in its fledgling stages you know as you can see i cook um, actually made dinner for for everybody at home last night um, always perfecting my skill whether it's welding cutting programming designing or cooking so one of our things with four exploring is there are several Jeep tour companies out there that will take you to various places. Um, but that's about what they do. They take you and lead you and take you back to the end and wave adios. Um, we do as well. We get you there. We do the trail. We get back. But throughout the event, if you will, um, I cook. So I'll make a bre cowboy breakfast, cowboy supper, um, 
you know, I do a lot of Dutch oven cooking, a lot of cast iron cooking from our uh, partners at Lodge Cast Iron. I have a pretty much a gourmet kitchen on our truck wagon, which is Megalander. Yep. So we will we'll get to your comments. I'll answer them. Sorry, I'm kind of hands hands free at the moment. Um, so for exploring, go to the websites www.4xploring. So it's a play on words. Forexploring.com. Um, there's a blog in its fledgling state. We're updating that as we get content. The trip page is up to date. All the trips for this year. Uh, we're actually leaving in two weeks uh, with Charlene Bauer and the Ladies Off-Road Network. We're uh, doing a trip for them. It's a one-on-one trip, so any experience level is welcome. Um, it's kind of geared to the non-experienced, so we'll show you campsite selection, uh, how to read a map. If you don't even know what a map looks like, we'll show you um, uh, GPS. We use Gaia GPS, so we'll give you a brief tutorial on how that works. Still figuring it out. I just switched over the winter. Um, campsite selection, you know, what you want to look for, thing, things Prep. to look for. Prep. Prep. You know, prep some meals. Um, I do a lot of prep at home. Um, I have full Dometic refrigeration and freeze on my truck. Um, so we can do a lot of prep at home so you don't spend a ton of time cooking. So you do, do a lot of your prep, chop and you know, pre-cook some, some of the thing, ingredients, um, mix them all together, put them in a Dutch oven, and then we can relax around the campfire while the Dutch oven does the work. Um, so. A lot of that will go on on that trip. We'll also have some recovery um, training, snatch straps from, we've got a kit coming from Factor 55, their new recovery kit. It has a kinetic rope in it versus a snatch strap. And if you drive anything big and heavy, like most of my stuff, kinetic ropes are really cool. So that's coming from Factor 55. Um, they're hoping to debut the kit at so as a kit, they've had the pieces laying out for the last couple of shows, but they're getting a whole bag, thing, kit, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll show you how to use mat tracks. Um, you know, just your basic overland, outdoor adventure type recovery. Um, for exploring is not necessarily about hardcore rock crawling. <coughs> Excuse me. But we do have two trips every year that are. Rockin' Woods is coming up in July, so I'll put my plug in there. Book that trip. It is a hoot. It is a base camp event. So that means you can set up whatever you're sleeping in, be it a tent, a trailer, a fifth wheel, a motorhome, whatever, hotel room, however that works, and you don't have to move. We are in one place all week, and we do day trips from camp. Um, it's a really good event. It's a good way to get in and meet us, uh, go for wheeling with us. And if you haven't wheeled in South Dakota, you really need to. They're world class um, trails out there. Um, beautiful country, too. Uh, the second rock crawling, if you want to use that term, trip of the year is Last Man Standing. And Last Man Standing is exactly what the name describes. It will be a test of man and machine. Um, it's 650-ish miles start to finish. We wheel uh, all in exclusively in Colorado. Um, we start on the western slope. We end up on the front range and we hit every hard Jeep trail in Colorado. Um, no trailers. Man and machine run what you brung. It's going to be a hoop, and it will be last man standing. 
So whoever we wheel all day, we move that afternoon evening, hopefully not midnight, but we have to move to the next destination to be ready to wheel at eight o'clock the next morning. We do another trail, we move, we do another trail, we move. And it's six trails in seven days. Um, there is one, still working out the details on that, but there will be one off day so you can get out of your Jeep. Um, but you gotta bring, you gotta be self-sufficient. Um, good quality vehicle, uh, gotta run at least 60 mile an hour on the highway, has to be DOT legal, and I'll leave that interpretation to you. Um, spare parts, tools, whatever equipment you need. Um, it will be a contest, I guess would be the word. So we'll, we're still working out some details on that, but one idea that's been kicking around is a, a, a chip or a coin. You do something great for the group, you'll get a coin, you get a cookie. You, or we can do it the other way, you have to winch, you have to fix your Jeep, you have to get strapped, you roll it over, we got whatever, you get a demerit. So, still working out the details on that, but basically last man standing will be crowned at the end by his or hers lack of chips or accumulation of chips. So we got to figure out the details on that, but it'll be a fun little week. Um, you know, some competitive rivalry between us. Um, still have some uh, places available for that. Um, anything is welcome. <clears throat> the only thing I, I will say on that, bigger is not necessarily better. So you want to be on 37s, you've got to be locked in both axles, got to have a winch. Uh, 37 is the minimum tire requirement. If you're a four-door JK, 40-inch uh, is the minimum tire requirement just because of their size and breakover angle. This is real deal wheeling. Um, things will break, things will fail. What? We will have a good time. Um, so that's in mid-September, starts September 14th, I think. Um, so send me an email, info at forexploring.com. Uh, worst case scenario, send it to sales at T&D Customs and they will get it to me. I'll respond. I'm not going to respond instantly because I am working, but I'll get, get back to you within a day or so and we'll start figuring this out. Uh, where you're coming from, where all of the details and whatnots. There are some hotels involved, so the sooner you can get interest and commitment to the trip, the better, because uh, we do need to get them hotels booked here pretty soon. It will be uh, every other night, um, in some cases two nights in a row in a hotel, but we will do a little camping on this trip. The nights that we camp, I'll cook, um, but if we're in town, you're on your own. So sign up for those. Those are our two hardcore. Last plug is Fall Adventure. Uh, Chris Frizzell and I just got back from scouting the week. Uh, we were actually out the week of EGS. Um, scouting for Fall Trip. <clears throat> fall Trip will be pretty spectacular this year. Not hardcore. You need a, basically a Jeep Rub a four door Rubicon on 35s with a winch or equivalent. Um, however, we determine what equivalent is. Um, Got to be self-sufficient. We are camping on the trail multiple nights. There will be one night of hotel to get cleaned up, freshened up, relax, however you want to put that. Um, but it is a Monday through Friday, um, point A to point B overland style trip. Um, it'll be a really good time. Have multiple river crossings. For those of you that are not familiar with river crossings in the West, by September they may be a trickle, but nonetheless, they're a river crossing. Um, beautiful country, very, very remote. You have to have a good machine that is reliable. Um, more details on the website, check that out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. You can hit me preferably at my email, but I do monitor my Facebook instant messaging as well. 
So I guess that's about it for TNT Tuesday this week. Um, like I said, just kind of introducing ourselves. I'm Bob. I'm Mason. I'm, here. I'm Mason. <laughs> um, so we'll be back next week on Tuesday. We're going to try and do this at lunchtime. Um, please put in the comments, you know, if you're on the East Coast, I know you're already over lunch. Maybe we can adjust the time back forward. West Coast, you're just going to lunch. So, but as a general rule, we're going to do it at lunchtime. So we can play with that plus or minus a half an hour. Um, just mark your calendar and tune in. We'll chat and tell stories and um, introduce us to you, you to us. Um, as you can tell, I can talk. So at okay. some point, we'll start telling stories and um, give you some recipes, um, give you inside scoops to what we're doing in the shop, both here and manufacturing. Um, so we'll be at manufacturing next week. So join us again for TNT Tuesday next week. Um, Chuck said he's still hungry, so we should go cook some more food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you.